Hey everybody, it's January 21st, 2017, and this is daily vlog number 266, and it's a Saturday, and by the time you see this, I'll have been hard at work most of the day, uh, because it's my weekend to work, every weekend, 16 hours, uh, both Saturday and Sunday, so I wanted to make this video so we'd uh, have a video out for today. And the topic I want to talk about, I, I ran across an article that said, uh, <clears throat> man shoots wife that he thought was a burglar. Uh, evidently, uh, this woman, she was a nurse and she was working at the hospital and she wasn't expected home for a few days. And uh, <clears throat> she came home early. And when she was at the front door coming in, uh, her daughter heard sounds and uh, got her father and her father got the gun and uh, was I guess standing at uh, the top of the stairs I don't know exactly where he was at the time but when she came through the door he fired uh, she was shot in the neck and she died at the scene now <clears throat> I'm not against guns I've owned guns in the past I've had hunting licenses and uh, you know so I've had guns in my house I got rid of my guns when I got married and my kids came in the house so I haven't had uh, any uh, weapons in a while but when I was in uh, junior high school before I could get my first hunting license I had to take a gun safety course and there's a few things that you learn when you take a gun safety course first thing that you learn is that a gun is never ever unloading I don't care if it's in pieces on your workbench it's still to be considered a loaded weapon you might think it's unloaded but you know nine times out of ten somebody will point what they think is an unloaded gun at something or someone and pull the trigger and Amazingly, it goes off. Wow. Big surprise. So, you know, it doesn't matter if the thing's in pieces. It's still considered a loaded weapon. You don't point it at anything you don't want to kill. And that's uh, another uh, point that you learn. If you're willing to point a weapon at someone, you better be willing to kill it because it's got to die. Now, I'm sorry for the man that shot his wife, but, you know, you've got to make sure that you're willing to shoot at the target that you're aiming at. If you don't know what it is, don't aim at it. Don't, don't point your gun at it. He had some other options. He could have said something before his wife came through the door to have her announce herself or whatever, but you know you just don't start firing at a shadow that walks through your door it could be anybody it could be your wife your daughter your son your mother your father you don't know who it is until you actually see their face but that that's just my take on it you know uh, like I said I'm not against guns I've owned guns. And one other point is that if you own a gun, you better be ready to use it because a lot of times people are, will buy a firearm, but when it comes down to it, they're not willing to pull the trigger. So a lot of the time, the gun that they bought for protection ends up being used against them. So, and that's all part of, of training, you know. You learn what you're capable of. You learn how to properly handle a firearm. Now, there's going to be people say out there, oh, don't need to have training. You, you ought to be able to buy a gun whenever you want to. But, you know, it's, it's, I think it should be mandatory that you at least go through a course before you are able to get a gun. Just like we go through background checks now. Uh, you know, I don't see anything wrong about that. 
you have, in some states, you even have to go through a waiting period before you can actually purchase a weapon. Um, so that's just so that people that are in an emotional state might think of killing somebody in the heat of the moment, but you give them time to cool down and, and think about what they were contemplating. So, you know, I, I think some of the, these rules are there to protect us, and I think they're good ideas, and I think there should be a mandatory training uh, that you have to go through before you uh, are able to get a firearm. You have to go through training to get a uh, concealed carry license, so why not uh, go have to go through training to buy the actual weapon? Okay, so I know some people are going to scream about this and, and say it's their constitutional right, and I agree, it's your constitutional right to carry a gun, or to own a gun, but I think there needs to be some safety in place before you own a gun or carry a gun. So, let me know what you think. Tell me if you agree with me. Let me know if you don't agree with me. You know, it's all part of the deal. We can get a discussion going. So, uh, let me know. And that's it for today. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. The link's down below. And also, uh, take a look at my social media sites, G+, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you missed yesterday's vlog, just click on the image to the left. And please check out my website, the Chuck Baker homepage at chuckbaker.org. The link's up at the top. Until tomorrow, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.